Well, from what we've seen already, without the large financial contribution made by the Norfolk Investing in Communities programme, the vital work carried out by the projects we've already featured, not just today, but in the future as well, would be hard to imagine. Take our next project for example, NR5 is a community-based charity aimed at the cultural and media service in particular as well as contributing to the local economy. Now this is an area where technology is changing almost daily and without the funding of the Investing in the Communities programme simply wouldn't be able to keep up to date and provide the most efficient service and education. What the funding has done basically is provided the community with a centre that is state of the art. I've got the job to not only produce something on the radio but also to try and get people to aspire to become better at doing things on the radio so, and that's really pleasing once everything comes together. And the thing about NR5, it's not just about being a community radio station or a youth centre, it's about providing real tangible education as well for those kids who need it most. If Ida hadn't have funded the project we wouldn't be here now and 28 kids would not be getting this opportunity of getting an education and, and hopefully coming out with some GCSEs. So that is a life-changing experience for the kids in the community and the surrounding areas. 